Hey guys, it's John. Um, just as a uh, box to the uh, post, and um, I think it's a bit of vinyl. Want to check? Let's open. Ooh, that's uh, that's not good. Not good at all. Right, <clears throat> I've just said this box here. Right, huge. Ready? Watch this. This is the most shocking packaging I've ever seen. Ever from Amazon, right? Watch. Oh. My records are just banging around inside that huge big box like that. Oh my god, that is bloody shocking. Pain in the arse. They better not be damaged because they are getting, getting fed up with Amazon um, for uh, stuff being damaged or break. But my god, that's terrible. Um, whew, Jesus. Uh, to be quite honest, at the moment, I'm not seeing anything broke. But there's time right I'm gonna do this whole video um, reveal on seal um, obviously my first reveal was that Amazon are shocking for their for what they've done today packaging that up like that I will not be buying records in bulk like that again um, one of them's a, a bit dented right First of all, um, I've got the Judas Priest 30th anniversary of Turbo. Um, this was uh, extremely cheap um, when I got when I ordered it. I was like, my God, it came down pretty quick as well, a couple of days. So. I will uh, open that. Actually, no. I'm. Uh, I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, no, I won't. I will. I will open it. Um. So, if you're after this, um, from Amazon, it's uh, a good price. Very good price. It's about the same price as a CD, or you know. Some CDs. Um, that's it outside the pack wrapping. Just checking for splits or anything. It's nice and colourful. It's not as uh, obviously as good as the uh, original, but it's got this matte black around here very uh, shiny purpley blue with red and yellow red and orange and there's the inner sleeve lyrics on this side the other sleeve has got some damage on there it's got a split in it so Be messaging Amazon after. Let's check this uh, record. The um, 
inner sleeve on this one's actually quite shiny, so hopefully the record's going to be fine. And uh, that side's fine. And that side's fine. So I would recommend getting this record. Um, maybe order it singly from Amazon. Do not order stuff in bulk and get it shipped at the same time. It's just really not worth it. Especially if you get idiots packaging um, stuff like that. But yeah, that one's got a, a split on the inner sleeve, so I'm going to have to get a replacement. Um, and yeah, that's the 2017 reissue. But um, I've had to send so many records back, it's crazy. So, um, and that's the German pressing. So there's that one. Um, the next two, or should I just, I'm just going to, yeah, next two are by the same guy, right? Um, and no one, I don't think anybody's shown these yet in the VC. One of them I own on CD, the other one I've never owned. So, the one I've never owned is um, Bruce Dickinson's The Chemical Wedding. And uh, Adrian Smith's on this. Roy Z. But yeah, Chemical Wedding. And, um, yeah, I've never listened to this. I don't know any of the songs. Let's open it up and see what it's like. <clears throat> this is a gatefold. There's the gatefold. I've not seen it myself yet. <laughs> and at the moment, these are an amazing price on Amazon. So go and check them out. Um, I, I I was shocked at how how cheap these were. These are 2017, and. Uh, Or Sanctuary BMG or oh, BMG, uh, yeah, BMG.com manufactured in the EU. Um, so hopefully, they feel very good quality, these much better quality than the Judas Priest one there. Um, so hopefully, the records are going to be great and. Put that on there. The solo works. You can buy this um, solo works uh, box set, but it's actually I worked to that. It's more expensive than buying these singly at the moment. Right, check the vinyl. Don't seem to be anything untoward. That's the uh, custom label. So record one. There's no freebies in there. I do actually have. Um, Tattooed Millionaire, but not as a new one. I've got the original. I've got it a few times. And Skunk Works, I've never had. <clears throat> I've never had ty tyranny, tyranny of Souls, sorry. Um, and I've 
I've had balls to Picasso but not on record on vinyl so that's one I'm gonna that's actually quite cheap as well but I didn't get it um, so hopefully soon and the other vinyl it's got a mug shots of the band or nothing on that side and this one's got a split as well and that's down to this numpty whoever packed it so I'm gonna get another get another one of those replaced That's that one, um, and that is Chemical Wedding, and that was released, this is a 2017 edition, and um, I can't think when the album was released originally, doesn't say it on there, I think it was 98, maybe, I'm not sure, um, I'd have to check up. <laughs> No, bit of a weird cover as well. Um, the next one is um, Bruce Dickinson again. This is uh, Accident at Birth, which I do have on CD with the slipcase with the red um, case, uh, slipcase cardboard cover. Um, I have listened to this a lot in the past, but I've not listened to it. For a good um, 15 years or so. So, um, yeah, I must get it, stick it back on and see if I enjoy it. But this was an amazing price as well. This was the same price as The Chemical Wedding. I think about 12, 13 quid. And I just thought, my God. It was around that sort of money, so. This one, I can't tell. There's a bit of damage on the outside cover. I can just see it. I think so. What have I got there? Oh yeah. It's um, got a little knock taken out of there. That's probably because it's moved around in that cardboard box a lot so outside covers damaged oh cool um, cool pictures there of Bruce Dickinson and Adrian Smith but yeah let's have a look this is um there's the back. That covers that picture's pretty good. Didn't like it when it came out so much. I thought it was a bit cheap and tacky, but it's actually quite good. <laughs> you look back at stuff now. So um so there we go, the solo works nineteen ninety to two thousand five. And uh there's a forward there or story bit the history and that by Dom Lawson. And the other one is, uh, there he is, there's nothing on that side. And these, ah, these are not the ones I was thinking. I thought I was going to have um, picture this or coloured vinyl, but no. There's the uh, custom label. On that side, the lyric, uh, the um, song titles. And check this. A bit of white residue on there. <sighs> and one very 
very extremely fine little mark uh, scratch in there but my god it's very you can only just see it but that's not bad it's just the cover that's damaged And <clears throat> the other one, first record, some mark on there, but there's a picture on the uh, thing again, uh, song titles that side. I don't the right way up. So that were this one's got a mark there. I don't know if it is well that will, that's just a bit of, a bit of dirt on it for some reason. There's a few um hairline marks, scratches in this. This would be probably the worst one. Um, but, yeah, they, these are these are still amazing for the price, but they'd be even better if Amazon had packed them properly. So uh, that's the first time I've had Amazon pack records really bad. Um, I don't know what the hell they were up to, but um, they've obviously. Pff, why couldn't they just sent it in vinyl sleeve, a uh, vinyl packs, and then just put three together and taped them together? Bloody idiots! So um, yeah, I'll be on their case this afternoon. that's uh, shit so um yeah there we go but there's accident of birth check it out on amazon um very good price and uh, much cheaper than buying it as the box set so um yeah we think the box set was over 100 something pound and these were about 12 13 14 quid each so for double vinyls so um yeah awesome and um i think they were they were 180 gram as well because there's some weight there sure they were 2017 bmg but yeah bmg you need to get onto uh amazon and sort them out and then also get onto whoever makes your stuff for you so i can sort them out as well so yeah there we go cheers for watching and uh Hope everybody liked that video and uh, let me know what you think of Bruce Dickinson's solo stuff and uh, even if you've got any of his solo stuff, show it in a video or let me know. And um, yeah, I should have another package um, in the post. Actually, no, I've got to pick one up from the post office. I don't know what that is yet, so uh, it might be uh, another record. Not sure. We will see. Cheers. See you later. Have a good day.